Yeah, Kurt, the Medicine Man Pharmacy has been hosting vaccine clinics at this gym on Jackson Street in Hoboken for a few months now. They say they saw a surge early this summer when kids over 12 became eligible and now another uptick just as we're seeing an uptick in COVID rates here in New Jersey. My first shot was actually on April 8th. And now, more than three months later, Vibha Gupta is back for her second Pfizer vaccine at the Hoboken Medicine Man Pharmacy Clinic. A potential allergic reaction kept her away. Rising COVID rates and the contagious Delta variant brought her back. So I've got a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old. 10-year-old doesn't have a shot. I want to make sure it's for a safety second return to work's coming up and rules are so different for people who are vaccinated versus not. It feels like the new passport to the world. On the age, they're just coming now to get vaccinated. Pharmacy owner Pete Suteria says there hasn't been a crowd like this at the clinic in a while. Many adults who were hesitant at first are now reconsidering. Mike Riccardi has a child too young to get vaccinated. I would just like a little more time and da data. So that was my main concern. Usually these vaccines have a lot more years worth of data. So, but I know a lot of people that have gotten it by now. Suteria believes it's that combination of more information, education, and those rising Delta concerns that's pushing many who are on the cusp to come in. The people are more educated that, you know, the vaccines are safe and it works. And then, you know, the, anybody who got vaccinated, even they got infected, they haven't been hospitalized. Well, according to the, pharma the pharmacy owner, it was it was really good compared to the last few weeks, especially when you're talking about adults. First and second doses, they had 38 people either sign up or walk in. And that's a big jump they're telling me from just a few weeks ago. This clinic in particular is open to anyone who works, lives or goes to school in Hoboken. And they do accept and encourage walk-ins. And that's what happened a lot today. Kurt.